Next, we're going to learn about Kanban in SAP. So the topics that we'll be learning today, they are meaning of Kanban, characteristics of Kanban, functions of Kanban, and step-by-step -step processes of Kanban. Let us start with the business example. A unique feature of your company is a relatively constant consumption of materials. For this reason, you want to process the material flow to the work center in production of your company in an event-driven manner. You will first use the SAP SCM Kanban function to familiarize yourself with the organizing replenishment using stock transfer, external procurement and in-house production. Now, first of all, we'll start with what is Kanban. Now, in general, Kanban is not something uh, only a SAP functionality. This is a Japanese um, method of replenishment. So, this is this is not a feature only used by SAP, but but this is a standard processes out, used outside the SAP environment as well. Now before we learn it from SAP perspective, I want you to go through a video first on YouTube and make, your, make yourself familiarize to understand what is Kanban in general. Then we'll talk about Kanban in SAP. So <clears throat> before you proceed, I want you to open YouTube. And in YouTube type here, what is Kanban? And here you will see a couple of videos here. So I want you to watch this video, the number second. So which is, um, if I click on this video with a photo of a girl is this video, which is two minutes, 35 seconds video. So I want you to watch this video, two minutes video, and then come back to the topic. So if you not very clear watching this video, if you're not very clear, then you can watch the other video. So you can watch the first one, or you can watch the third one as well, if it's not clear. But these are very basic videos and it will make you understand what is Kanban in general. Now, then once you have watched the video, then start this topic here. In the meantime, you can pause the video and then continue with the YouTube video first. Now we'll come, come back to the Kanban in SAP. So before we continue with Kanban in SAP, let, let us understand about Kanban in general again. So Kanban in general is basically what happens is you have the work center so you can see you have the one work center here another work center here or it could, could be a line loading some for something like that so for every work center probably you you have a material that is constantly consumed so you have a material here that is constantly consumed at that work center the same material can be shared by other work center as well so you can have the same material individually on each work center or it can be shared by more than one work center the same material so what happens is <clears throat> this is done by visualization which is known as kanban so what happens is you have a full box of a full container of the material here loaded next to the work center which is constantly consuming the material as soon as so probably you can have one or more con more container for example you, you can have two buckets of the container here for example i can make some picture here so that's one bucket that's another bucket for example and these are the two buckets for the material that is constantly consumed here. So as soon as if I'm the responsible person for this Kanban material, if as soon as I see that this material is running out or this bucket is empty, then I will start the Kanban process. So looking here, I will generate a card. So I'll put the card on the board and the person responsible will be starting the procurement. For example, the material can be coming from uh, our other uh, warehouse it can be coming from probably uh, from a vendor it can become it we may be manufacturing it in in, in house as an in-house production so it can come from any resource and it will again will do the replenishment of the material and the material will be filled up to the container again so that's how the cycle goes on in general i hope it is pretty much clear the canvan process in general so let us see some theory about it what is kanban Kanban is a process by which material can be replenished as per the requirement. 
Kanban is a Japanese technology for material replenishment. Can means Kanban is a Japanese, Japanese word and can means card and ban means signal or signal or visualization visual. So hence understanding is card which will give you a signal for replenishment. So looking at something we know that yes this is empty. So that's what Kanban is. So visualization visual card or signal card you can say. Kanban will have plastic bins and cards. The card will hold the material number storage location barcode material quantity etc and will be kept on the bin once the bin is full. So you can call it bin, you can call it bucket, you can call it container, whatever you want to call it. So the goods or the material will be stored in the bin or in the bucket. And the bucket will have a card, which is a Kanban card. So every bucket has a card and card will have the details of what the material is, quantity, standard quantity we put in the bucket or the bin, barcode and etc and etc. Once the bin is empty, as soon as the bin is empty, then the card will be on the board. So someone will take the card, as you can see on the YouTube video, the person responsible will take the card and put it on the board, like that multiple card will be there for a single material with, with proper serial number. So whenever there is a bin empty, the person responsible will take the card and put it on the board. And then the next person responsible will look at the board that what we need to purchase and or procure, then they will start the procurement process. So again, as I said, procurement can be in-house from or from a vendor or from the other warehouse as well. The aim is to control the replenishment process in production itself and to reduce the manual posting efforts for personal as much as possible. So basically in this process, most of the stuff will be automatic people do not have to create the purchase order or production order if it's in-house and do the goods receipt etc etc so everything will done uh, everything will run like sort of automatic some processes not all characteristics of kanban now kanban uses the pull production method material flow organized using container setting to empty so basically what we mainly do we can empty the container in sap as well i'll show you how to do it in a minute and you can full the container in sap master data is control master data in the control cycle guarantees self-management of the production production process jrt called just in time therefore no planning of material staging so there's no material staging here minimization of the manual posting effort and admin effort in the system lean manufacturing process optimization with more employee responsibility so let's have a look how it works practically in sap so kanban master data first of all we'll learn about how to set up the kanban master data and then we'll start the process so basically as i said earlier your material so you can see you have the material here one material is called b in the in the bin another material is c another material d another material e so these are the material on these work center on this works on this separate work center so basically what we do is we when we create the master data we assign a storage location to the material and we also assign the person responsible who is the person responsible like we in material master we assign the mrp controller same way we assign the person responsible here and you can also assign the unloading point for external procurement and every material has a supply area so where the supply is coming from as i said earlier supply can be from external vendor can be in-house production or can be transferred from the other warehouse then this master data is set up i'll set up in a minute practically in sap then the control cycle will start so i'll show you the control cycle as well where you can mention practically how who's the person responsible vendor issuing plant warehouse etc etc and then <clears throat> this shows the different um, uh, work center and different materials for example here you can see this is one work center here so this work center has material c in two containers so we got two containers for this one so that you know one is empty we can use the second one in the meantime we'll fill up the first one so we got two containers here for 10 pieces each depending how much quantity we need if you look here in this work center for material number a you got two containers of 75 quantity each so you can have more than one container you can have only one container or you can have two container you can have 10